Kirk Jungi here from LearningGolf.tv, continuing my Setup for Impact learning series. Uh, we've covered most of the swing from grip, setup, uh, finding impact, transition, uh, actually to this position. Today we'll talk a little bit about release and what is it. And basically the release is very simple that when we've created an angle between the arms and club shaft, at some point we need to release it, otherwise we'll never hit the golf ball. So most people release the club early because they're using the trailing hand to flip at the ball or they think they need to get the ball up in the air. So it's very important to understand that we need to first learn this and then in learning uh, to release, we simply need to learn to release at the proper time and our feedback should be where does the club head make impact with the ground. So you would see here, when I'm practicing, I can practice like this. Here's my impact position. And then I want to make some swings, seeing that the club is making impact starting at the ball. So that would be a sign that you're releasing at the proper time. You could also do this. I do this with some people, hold the club back here, and then go back, release go back, don't release. If you release later, the club will hit later past the ball or it won't hit the ground at all. If you release too early, you see it will hit the ground too early. So we need to release at the proper time so that we hit the ground in the proper position. So then as you're working on the release, I would have you make some swings from here, release, and to this position where the club should be pointed towards the target. So it's simply releasing from here, we're going from here, and the goal is where the trailing arm is extended towards the target. That would be a fully released position. And then uh, this is actually one of my ball striking drills, it has you simply doing the same thing where you're going from here to here. And so I'd be checking here afterwards to see uh, that my hips and body were open, the club pointed towards the target, the club's also a little bit here rotated because after impact what happens, that's where the rotation needs to occur, not before. So the early release has too much club rotation that's why we need to learn to do it properly. So for all of the drills, uh, visit learninggolf.tv. There is a 14 day free trial on the very inexpensive membership. It also allows you to send in videos for my review and to ask unlimited questions through email. Uh, subscribe here on YouTube for more uh, such videos. And I also have a free email series on the website as well. There's almost 20 emails now with a lot of information on the Setup for Impact Golf Swing. Also like this video and have a great day.